Okay guys, here's that fourth log of so, and this one is called Coconut Milk and Lime, and this is a very special soap to me. It's been revamped. I'll exp uh, it's a soap from when I first started making soaps, and it was my, this was my original, I believe, it was this one, I believe, that was my original first coconut milk made soap. That I made soap out of coconut milk with, and I loved it so much. Of course, you know my. If you watch my videos, you know my very first soap I ever made was olive oil soap, and I fell in love with that. And I said, "That's what I want the base of my soap to be made of, mostly olive oil." And then when I made this soap, uh, this coconut milk and lime soap with coconut milk, I said, "Okay, that's it. <laughs> my soaps are going to be olive oil and coconut milk soaps." So I've been making them that way with olive oil and coconut milk uh, for years, quite a few years now. Um, and this one has not been around for two or three years, I think. And I've missed it so. I revamped it a bit, and I'll talk about it as I cut it. But here on the top you can see it's got shredded coconut, and that's real organic unsweetened coconut dried coconut flakes there on the top and it does have a sprinkling of them inside as well um, like that I'll explain it a bit more but I want to get to cut right here for you okay. this scent is a it's my own blend it's a combination of fragrance and essential oils And it smells so good. Okay, I'm going to cut it on its side. I think I mentioned it was hot process. Can't remember, but if I didn't, this is a hot process soap. That's one of the ways I revamped it. It used to be a cold process soap. And I said, you know what? I, I want to I wanna try making this in a hot process. I loved it in the cold process. I really did. But I just, I thought I wanted to try it with the hot process. And you can see there I've put, there's some, did I put shredded coconut back in there? You know, I'm not sure I did put shredded coconut. I'll have to go check my notes. I know there is lime. I've put, uh, grated lime rind there back into it but you know I'm not so sure I put shredded coconut back into it I'll have to check my notes but it will say on Etsy whether it does have it in there or not but I'm thinking now that I'm cutting it that I didn't although I might have I don't know you know what I did I did um, I put, uh, I did put some of the coconut back in there. I just, I ground it up really fine and, is that still recording? I hope it is. I ground it up really fine when I put it back in there so, um, so it wouldn't be too exfoliating. I better get to cutting because my battery, my, my camera is telling me my battery is going to go dead on me so. So I better cut this pretty quick. This is one of those two that you smell. Um, you know, it's not a super strong in-your-face scent, but it smells so good. Yes, I did. I can see some coconut in there. Um, and it's one that the lime blooms. Oh, there goes that bread machine again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, it's one that the lime really bursts when you lather with it. Let's see if I can get through this pretty quick here for you. I don't want the battery to go dead. Oh, oh this just smells so amazing. I've missed this soap so much. It got such rave reviews when I first made it. 
and I, I don't know why. I guess just because, you know, I've got, I just trying to do so many different types of soaps, you know. It's one of those soaps that I've always said, I want to make that soap again. I want to make that soap again. And uh, just never did. So I was making these essential oil soaps. And I said, you know, I, I'm going to hot process out that coconut milk and lime soap that I used to make. Let's see how that works. And I love it. Of course, I've already been testing it. And it just has a nice, 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 creamy, moisturizing lather. Real quickly, hopefully the camera won't die on me. I'm just going to cut up these samples here real quick. Oh, it smells amazing. It's not like that fake plasticky coconut, you know, the blend of the fragrance and essential oils. It's just a really authentic coconut and lime. Okay, let me take you down here quickly. Okay, here is coconut milk and lime. And here's what the bars look like. It's got the coke, the shredded coconut there on the top. And then you can see the lime, the grated lime rind in there. And again, I'll double check my notes, but I'm almost positive I did grind that, I know I did, I ground that coconut really, really, really fine and then put some back in there. I just know I did, but I will double check. If I didn't, I'll make sure to make a note of that. Maybe at the end of this, the bottom down bar of the video or something. There's the mini loaf, and that does feel like one pound. I think it is. Again, if it's not, it'll be a little bit less expensive. There's the end cut samples, and there's the samples I just cut for you. There. And this is a delicious soap. It's just delicious. Um, no fake fragrance smell here. This smells like the real deal. It smells like real coconut milk and lime. Good stuff. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. There's those four soaps cut up. And by the time when I upload this, those cutting videos, these will be fully cured out and ready to go. Okay, take care. Bye bye.